Hello. In this video, we will learn how to use Newton's method here in this code to, to solve the problem of one uh, variable function. So, in this problem, we have this function to solve. And we have this constraint. The x is basically between 1 and 2. And we want the accuracy of 10 to the power of minus 5. So the first thing we need to change in the code is basically the relative tolerance. Is it correct already? Yes, it is the same as we need here. And the initial guess. The initial guess because the x or the root is located between 1 and 2. Well, we can use 1.1 um, because it is between 1 and 2. So this is the initial guess we we have and let's change the the function so the function will be the expression of the function will be like we have here the exponent of x plus 2 to the power of minus x plus 2 multiply with cosine x and a 6 this is the function and remember the derivative of the function we need to uh, modify it as well Uh, the derivative simply is quite similar, but we have this different. 2 to the power of minus x multiply with logarithmic of 2. Yeah. Remember, the number uh, inside the bracket must be real or complex, so we can put just 2 like this because Fortran will, uh, will, uh, will write well, we'll read this as as an integer, so we need to put 0 0.0 and we need to put d0 because it is the double position uh, variables. And minus 2 multiply with sine x and this is 0 and that's it and uh, let's take a look to the relative tolerance and the initial condition. Oh, sorry, the initial, um, the initial guess, and let's try the code here with and run. And this is the result. So our initial guess is 1.1. Oh, we we have this one. What is this? We already put a good value here. 1.1 and the value of function at that x is minus 1 here 1.1 is 1.6 and by using Newton's method we have to do 7 iteration here and the final root is 1.83 you can say and the relative tolerance is the final relative tolerance we get is 10 to the power of minus 8 and the final value of the function is 10 to the power of minus 15 which is so small it is close to zero and actually you can also play around with the code for example if we change the initial guess here 1.5 for example and build and run what we have well we will have less iteration needed because this initial guess is quite close to the uh, the root of the function right so we will have uh, uh, less iteration needed and also the relative tolerance the final relative tolerance we get is uh, quite small compared to the first one and that's it that's how we uh, use the code and to and how to modify the code to to suit uh, our problem here and if you have any question please comment below and See you next time.